They told you coffee was bad for your bones. They warned you about calcium loss. But what if the medical establishment has been hiding something extraordinary from you? What if your morning coffee could become the most powerful weapon against muscle loss that threatens to steal your independence after 60? Well, scientists in Switzerland just discovered something that shocked the entire medical community. Three simple powders, when added to coffee, can literally reverse sarcopenia, which is the devastating muscle loss that affects 50% of people over 80. Not slow it down, reverse it. One of them increased muscle strength by over 35% in just 12 weeks in seniors age 65 and over. The results were so dramatic that the researchers had to repeat the study. Today, we're exposing everything. In this video, we reveal these three specific powders, how exactly to take them, how they work together, and we also included a weekly routine we will reveal at the end for how to add the three of them over the week. But before we dive in, I have two critical questions for you. First, have you noticed yourself struggling with jar lids lately? Second, do stairs feel harder than they did five years ago? We're reading and replying to each and every comment with personalized tips and advice. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any important tips. Now, without any further ado, let's start with number three, which is literally the foundation your body's been missing. Number three, collagen peptides. Collagen is a structural protein that acts like scaffolding for your muscles, tendons, and ligaments. After 60, your body's production of collagen starts to decline fast, but by the time you're 70, your natural collagen production can drop by up to 75%. That's why your body begins to lose its ability to repair your muscles and tissues effectively. And without that support, your muscles literally begin to collapse from within. That's where collagen peptides come in. Collagen peptides are a specialized form of collagen that has been broken down into smaller units through a process called hydrolysis, which is a method that makes it easier for the body to absorb. When added to coffee, these peptides dissolve instantly and absorb quickly, making them a perfect delivery method right at the start of your day. Collagen peptides are rich in amino acids like glycine and proline, which are the very building blocks your muscles use to rebuild themselves after even minor activity. Without enough of these amino acids, your muscles remain inflamed, sore, and underrepaired, setting the stage for slow but steady muscle loss, otherwise known as sarcopenia. Let's break it down clearly. If you're over 60 and you're not supplementing with collagen, you're missing out on one of the only protein types that directly supports connective tissues and muscle fibers repair. The science here is absolutely fascinating. A 2019 study from the University of Freiburg in Germany took 53 men, all over 65, with diagnosed sarcopenia and gave them just 15 grams of collagen peptides daily. After 12 weeks, they showed an average increase of 4.2 kilograms of muscle mass. That's over 9 pounds of pure muscle without any exercise program. The control group, they lost an additional 1.3 kilograms. The researchers were stunned. You don't need a blender. You don't need a complicated morning routine. Just one scoop, that's around 10 to 15 grams, into your morning coffee. It dissolves cleanly without changing the flavor. Ideally, it's taken within 30 minutes of waking up because that's when your cortisol is highest, which is the hormone that breaks down muscle. Collagen helps counteract that natural catabolic state and gives your muscles the nutrients they need to start repairing instead of wasting away. Now a few important notes. Don't combine your collagen with dairy creamers that are high in sugar. Sugar increases inflammation, which cancels out collagen's anti-inflammatory benefits. Also, don't add it to boiling coffee. Let it cool slightly because extremely high heat can break down some of the delicate peptides and consistency is key. You won't see results after two days, but after four to six weeks, most seniors report better mobility less joint cracking and firmer muscles, especially in the legs and arms. I want to tell you about a man named Walter, a 69-year-old retired mechanic from Ohio. When he first came to us, he had trouble even standing up from a seated position. His knees buckled and his thighs felt like rubber. He had been losing muscle slowly for five years, 
but didn't realize how bad it was until he fell trying to carry groceries. His blood work showed high inflammation markers and low collagen levels. We added one scoop of marine collagen peptides to his coffee every morning, alongside light leg exercises using a chair. After just eight weeks, his muscle strength improved by over 30% and his confidence returned. He now walks his dog every morning, something he hadn't done in years. This is not a miracle, it's physiology. You give your body what it no longer produces and it responds. Collagen peptides are not magic, but they are essential. They give your body the raw materials it needs to repair what time has worn down. Now that you've got the foundation, let's move to the next level. The second powder on our list builds on this and targets a hidden trigger of muscle breakdown almost no one talks about. Number two, creatine monohydrate. Most people think creatine is only for bodybuilders or gym rats, but that's one of the biggest myths still circulating in senior health. Because if you're over 60, creatine isn't just helpful, it's crucial. Research shows that creatine plays a central role in keeping your muscles energized, your cells hydrated, and your strength intact as you age. Yet, shockingly, less than 5% of seniors use it. Why? Because it's been marketed to young athletes instead of those who actually need it the most. But today, we're exposing the truth. Creatine is a compound that your body makes naturally. It lives primarily in your muscle cells, where it helps regenerate ATP, the energy currency your muscles use to contract, lift, and stabilize your body. After the age of 50, creatine stores begin to shrink, which means every time you go to stand up, climb stairs, or carry groceries, your muscles fatigue faster. That's one of the silent contributors to sarcopenia, a progressive loss of muscle mass and performance. Without enough creatine, your muscles don't just weaken, they shrink. And over time, that leads to frailty, instability, and increased fall risk. But here's the breakthrough. When creatine is added to your morning coffee, even in small doses, it's absorbed efficiently, especially when paired with caffeine, which increases uptake in the muscles. That's right. Instead of taking it separately or with a sugary drink, adding creatine monohydrate to your coffee gives you both an energy boost and a muscle-preserving kickstart at the same time. A groundbreaking meta-analysis published in the Journals of Gerontology in 2022 found that older adults who took just 3 to 5 grams of creatine daily gained significantly more muscle mass and strength than those who didn't, even without intense exercise. In some studies, leg press strength improved by over 20%, and muscle thickness in the arms and thighs increased measurably within 8 weeks. Let me give you a real example. Elaine, a 74-year-old retired English teacher from Vermont, had stopped walking to the local market because her legs felt like they were made of jelly. She wasn't overweight, she ate well, but she couldn't maintain the energy to walk even 300 meters without stopping. Her balance had worsened and her thighs had visibly shrunk. We introduced just three grams of micronized creatine monohydrate into her black coffee each morning, no sugar, no milk. After two weeks, she said her legs felt more awake, after six weeks, she was walking to the market again, and after 12 weeks, her son messaged to tell us she had started doing light yoga at home. That's what happens when your muscle cells are finally being refueled. The key is to use creatine monohydrate, which is the most researched, safest, and most effective form. You want it to be unflavored and micronized, which means it's ground into smaller particles for faster absorption and better mixing in hot beverages. Just three to five grams once per day is enough. That's about one level teaspoon. Stir it into your warm, not boiling coffee after brewing. Don't worry about loading phases or cycling. For seniors, what matters most is consistency every single day. There are a few mistakes to avoid. First, don't overdose. More is not better. High doses can cause bloating or water retention. Second, make sure you're drinking enough water throughout the day because creatine pulls water into your muscle cells. That's what helps them grow and recover. But it also means dehydration can become a concern if your fluid intake is low. And if you have any pre-existing kidney issues, you should consult your doctor before beginning creatine.
not because it's harmful, but because extra monitoring is smart. That said, decades of studies on elderly patients with normal kidney function show zero adverse effects when using creatine at proper doses. So why isn't your doctor telling you this? Because creatine doesn't make the pharmaceutical companies money. It's not a drug. It's not patented. And most physicians are trained to manage disease, not enhance function. But if you're watching this, you're not here just to survive. You're here to thrive. Creatine does more than preserve muscle. It enhances cognition, too. That's because the brain also uses ATP, and creatine helps fuel its performance. One 2021 study in experimental gerontology showed that seniors who took creatine daily had better memory scores and faster processing speeds than those who didn't. So when you add it to your coffee, you're not just helping your body move better, you're helping your brain think clearer too. The best time to take creatine is in the morning, ideally with your first coffee of the day. That's when insulin sensitivity is higher and your body is primed to absorb nutrients. You can mix it right after brewing once the temperature drops slightly below boiling. That helps preserve the compound, the flavor, virtually tasteless. You won't even notice it's there, but your muscles will, your strength will, your energy will, and your independence will. We've now covered the energy source, but now it's time for the most important one. The number one powder that shocked even the researchers with its results in older adults. Stay tuned. Number one. L-leucine. This is the real powerhouse, the one powder that shocked researchers with its ability to reverse muscle loss in seniors without needing massive diet changes or intense workouts. It's not a blend. It's not a fancy supplement. It's a single pure amino acid called L-leucine, and it's the key that unlocks muscle growth after the age of 60. Without it, your body's ability to build muscle is like a car without the spark plug. The fuel's there, but the engine doesn't start. Here's what makes L-leucine so critical. As you get older, your muscles become anabolically resistant, which means they stop responding to regular protein the way they used to. Even if you eat enough protein, your muscles might not be able to use it efficiently. That's why many seniors feel like they're getting weaker no matter what they eat. But L-leucine overrides this problem. It directly activates mTOR, which is a cellular signal that tells your body it's time to build muscle. When you don't get enough L-leucine, that switch never flips, and instead of building, your muscles stay in a constant state of slow decay known as sarcopenia. The science is stunning. In a 2023 randomized trial published in Clinical Nutrition, seniors who added 4 grams of L-leucine daily to their diet increased their lean body mass by 7.4% in just eight weeks without changing anything else. Another 2022 study from American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that L-leucine supplementation in adults over 65 improved leg muscle strength by 31%, especially in those who were not responding to regular protein intake. These numbers aren't just impressive, they're life-altering especially when it's as easy as stirring a small scoop into your morning coffee. L-leucine powder is typically flavorless but can have a slightly bitter edge, so it works best when added to black coffee or coffee with a little unsweetened plant milk. The standard clinical dose is 3 to 4 grams per day. That's about one rounded teaspoon. You should add it after the coffee cools slightly, around 60-70 degrees Celsius to preserve its chemical structure stir well until fully dissolved. Unlike protein powders, L-leucine does not add creaminess or bulk. It's fast, light, and potent. Timing is everything. You want to take L-leucine first thing in the morning, ideally on an empty stomach or just with your coffee. That's when your body is most receptive to anabolic signals, especially after the overnight fast. Avoid taking it with sugar or high-carb meals as that can blunt the response and shift your metabolism toward fat storage instead of muscle repair. Also, don't combine it with regular whey or collagen at the exact same time unless you're doing resistance training, as too much amino competition can reduce L-leucine's unique triggering effect. There are a few things to watch out for. Don't overdo it. More than 5 grams per day consistently can cause imbalance with other amino acids, especially isoleucine and valine which are also essential. 
And if you have any existing kidney issues, always check with your doctor before starting a high-dose amino acid regimen. But for the average healthy senior, L-leucine is safe, well-tolerated, and one of the most studied muscle-preserving compounds available today. Avoid adding it to boiling liquids or acidic drinks like orange juice. This reduces its bioavailability and can cause minor stomach upset. Stick to warm beverages like coffee or tea and don't skip days. The key to L-leucine success is daily signaling. Your muscles need that push every day, especially after decades of understimulation. Unlike protein powders, L-leucine works even in small doses. It's not about the calories. It's about the message it sends your body. And the message is build, repair, restore. Your muscles are listening, but they need that spark. Let me share a story with you. Raymond, a 76-year-old retired school principal from Oregon, reached out to us earlier this year. He told us he had been shrinking, not just in size, but in presence. His kids noticed he wasn't standing as tall. His thighs looked smaller, his arms had lost their firmness, and even his voice had become quieter. He ate well. He was still drinking protein shakes, but nothing was working. When we reviewed his intake, he was only getting about one gram of leucine per day, far below what's needed to stimulate mTOR activation in seniors. We started him on 3.5 grams of L-leucine powder every morning in his coffee right after his morning walk. By the fifth week, he said his legs felt awake again. So now you may be wondering, how do you actually use all three powders without overcomplicating your life? Well, it's simple. Start your day with collagen peptides in your coffee every morning from Monday to Friday. This supports your joints, tendons, and muscle repair throughout the week. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, add creatine monohydrate to the same cup. This recharges your muscle cells, boosts strength, and fights fatigue. Then, on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, switch the creatine out and stir in pure L-leucine. This triggers muscle protein synthesis directly and helps build new tissue. On Sunday, take all three off and let your body rest and reset. This rotation balances repair, energy, and growth without overwhelming your system. It's fast, powerful, and fully backed by science. Just one mug a day and seven days from now, your muscles will already feel the difference. Now you know the truth. Three simple powders, one mug of coffee, and the potential to reverse years of muscle loss. The choice is yours. Do you keep losing strength year after year, or do you start rebuilding today? Now we want to hear from you. Have you ever added anything to your coffee for health reasons? What was it, and did you feel a difference in your energy or strength? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. I'm here to help you with health and wellness tips. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any important tips. Thanks for watching.